Hello everybody, happy Tuesday. This is attorney Takora Davis, founder of The Creators Law Firm and The Business Bakery. And I want to share with you um, a really good tip whenever it comes to starting your launch. And that is about market research on your ideal client. This is incredibly important because you need to understand who it is that you're serving, their pain points, and what problem it is that you solve for them. Um, so I wanted to give you those tips in preparation for our launch and share with you a little bit about what I'm currently doing right now, who I'm reaching out to, who am I chatting with, because it really matters when it comes to uh, making sure that what I intend to present to people is actually something that they want. And it's the same thing that you can do for your products, your services. You want to make sure that you're doing that particular market research. So Again, the Business Bakery will be the go-to digital resource for beauty and businesspreneurs uh, with courses, content, and really um, contracts that are going to support your uh, legal needs for your business as well as the strategic business needs for your business. Overall, we want to provide you with a stellar um, overall customer experience that allows you to feel confident about pursuing strategic partnerships, launching your business in the strongest way possible, and really avoiding any rookie mistakes that people often make. Um, so one of the things that you can do before you launch, um, you know, whether it be a flagship program, before you launch digital products, anything like that, you have to get really clear about what your ideal client wants. You have to. If you are trying to launch something and you have not even spoken to someone who is your ideal client, it is going to be a waste of your time. <laughs> and most likely it's going to be a waste of the client's time or the customer's time because you haven't even taken the time to slow down and ask them what do they want? What are they frustrated by? What type of support do they need? What are the solutions that they're seeking for their business? And so this is one of the most important things that you can do because you get to hear from the customer themselves what their pain points are. So if somebody can tell me themselves, you know, what they're frustrated by, uh, what they need right now, what are they looking for, what, what keeps them up at night, when we start asking those critical questions, it's really going to uncover so much that we didn't even have an idea was their own problem. If you are not doing that, you are making one of the biggest mistakes in business because you don't know how to center your marketing to start to solve the problem that they're facing. Um, you won't know how to create solutions for the problems that they're facing. You won't even realize that they're facing problems unless you ask. You know, and sometimes that just comes out in a conversation. You know, and it doesn't have to be something where you overthink it. It's just a matter of doing what you can with the time that you have. Guys, I am busy. I'm a mom, I'm a wife. I have two small kids. I have a law firm. So that's my main business that I'm running. But then I'm also trying to launch this thing, <laughs> this new thing that's going to take me to another level and it's going to help serve the needs of other, other people. So yeah, I may not have a full eight hours to go and chat with somebody but what I do have is 30 minutes what I do have is 50 minutes or 15 minutes and what I'm doing over the next couple of days is I am just finding time in my schedule to to talk to my ideal client and thank them for providing me with support and asking them questions that help me figure out what they need that's all you need don't overthink it. If all you have is 15 minutes to chat with your ideal client and you can only ask them three questions, ask them three critical questions that can help you really take your product or your service to another level. This is one of the critical things that you have to do in your launch, not only because you need to un understand what they're facing, but this, the feedback that you get from your ideal client will help shape your website copy, will help, help shape the language in your emails, in your Facebook ads, all of the stuff that I'm learning right now, I'm writing it down and I'm taking meticulous notes because I want to speak the language of my ideal client so that when they come across the business bakery's landing page or freebies or anything like that, they will hear themselves speaking back to them and they'll say, gosh, this is exactly what I need because I'm using their language. So if you are launching something, 
I don't care what it is. This is one of the critical things that you need to do. And you know what? Whether you're launching something or not, if you've been in business for six months and you haven't went back and spoken with your customers and gotten feedback, you have to do it now. You have to find time to chat one-on-one with your customers and your clients and figure out what it is that they need. Rashida, yeah, Rashida actually spoke with me today. <laughs> She's one of my ideal clients. And I was asking her questions. And, you know, I think Rashida was a little uncomfortable. She was like, ooh, this is tough, Decora. But she showed so much grace. And even with her, I was asking her questions that challenged her. Things that actually helped her figure out what she needed in her business as well. And I was asking her things that she hadn't thought of. But you know what she did for me? She was telling me things that I didn't even think were an issue. And now I'm like, wow, I know that this is something that she needs and I need to provide her with this, you know? So you did a wonderful job, Rashida. And again, like I said, I so appreciate your grace and you chatting with me. But Nika, like Nika, you have a travel company, right? And so you're structuring these really cool trips. Like what Nika does, y'all, so dope. She will basically plan a trip for you that centers around like one of your favorite movies. So next month, she's doing like a Thelma and Louise trip. Her and her friend are doing it. And so she's created this entire trip experience based around the movie. Isn't that dope? Like, so with her, like, she could plan this trip for you that is centered around one of your most favorite movies and have you almost feel like you're a star in the movie. Like, that's so dope. And what a beautiful niche that she has, right? But Nika, what she also needs to do if she hasn't done it already, (laughs) she needs to chat with her ideal client and people who love movies, but they also love travel. And what would they love about that experience that she could put together, you know? And she needs to figure out what frustrates her clients about travel, you know? So what I'm doing is I'm figuring out what frustrates my ideal client, what keeps them up at night, what, um, so those are some of the questions that you can ask. You know, what keeps you up at night? What frustrations are you currently experiencing in your business? Another thing that you can do if you are like, I can't talk to anybody. I don't have time. Ask a question in the Facebook group. (laughs) Say, if you are X, like if you are X, so your your ideal client's um, like title. If you are X, what frustrates you the most about Y? You know, and the Y can be, you know, your business, uh, running a digital business, whatever it is. So if you are this person, what frustrates you the most about this? And look at all the responses that come in and write it down. Look at what people are saying. Look and see if there's any themes, any similarities. That's how you hack the system. If you cannot have a 30-minute conversation with your ideal client, there's still no excuse. You can get the same information that you need by asking questions in Facebook groups, by sending emails to clients or prospective clients and gather that feedback. I'm telling you, this is critical. You need to do it. And it's not, it's never too late. All you have to do is just do one person and take it one person at a time. Grace yourself for the impact that you need to have. And, you know, before you know it, you have a wealth of information um, that you can use in your emails, in your landing pages, and to help you launch and make sure that the people that you want to launch to they hear you loud and clear okay i wanted to share that tip with you all because this is something that you need that is essential when you're starting a business or relaunching your business or just you know taking things to the next level until next time continue to tune in here um we you know we're launching probably in like t minus 40 days which is great great um so we're looking at may 20th for the launch. So somewhere in between May 13th, May 20th, we're launching this bad boy. I'll, I'll give you guys the exact dates um, and share with you some other things that I'm doing in preparation for the launch. But I needed to tell this tip to you all because I know that you can start doing this now, gathering the information that you need and really just taking it to heart and helping it improve your business. All right. Until next time, tune in here, share this video with people that you know are starting a business, launching a business, and that this could truly help. Uh, Because I know that me doing this is really a game changer and it's going to really help me launch the people that I need to launch to. Chat with y'all soon. Bye.